on a beyond tap. Na 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 with tree boom. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. I'm excited for today's video. I want to again apologize for the recent delays of my videos. It's just been a lot going on these past few weekends. But today I'm going to show y'all how I style my hair. I just got my hair done in my previous video. But the only difference is I did cut it. I got this hair from Ellie Pearl, by the way, if y'all didn't know. And I'm really, really liking it. So let's get right into it. So the tools that I'm using is this flat iron. I got this from Amazon and I am going to try to link it in the description box if I can. I love this flat iron. It's so, so good. And I got this hot comb. It gets really hot and it really lays down, you know, the hair. <laughs> You'll also need a comb, a brush, an edge brush and like the edge controller really. And some type of concealer just so you can get the part really crisp and cute. I'm getting real technical with y'all so y'all can see how I really lay my hair down. So I'm just going to take this off. And this is what it's looking like. This is what it looks like as soon as I wake up. Pieces sticking out and all. We all go through it. <laughs> but I'm going to use this dimming brush. I got this from Target. And just comb the hair out. And by the way, I'm really loving this hair. I love this texture. I love how easily it moves. It's really some beautiful hair. And again, I'm gonna link it down in the description box. And I also use this brush. This is an important brush, just to let y'all know. And some clips. Right now, I'm just splitting my hair into four sections just to make it easier whenever I start flat ironing. And then I'm just gonna split this side into a smaller section, just like this. Twist it up and clip it with this front piece, just like this. And then I'm gonna do the same with this side, just twist it up and clip it. Okay, so we got our first piece comb it, do a nice good brush, put the brush under just like this and then hold it on top, get the flat iron and go really slow, take your time, if you really take your time then you'll see the results at the end, it doesn't have to be a rush, it's a process and then I, if y'all didn't see I curled the end a little bit. And then you can keep going through it. And then I'm just gonna repeat those steps. So I'm gonna do one more section for y'all and then I'm gonna speed it up for y'all. So y'all not really sitting here for so, such a long time. And really focus on them roots because they can get curly for some. Mm. Almost hit my ear. Make sure y'all be careful. I'm gonna speed it up for y'all, but just know that's how slow I was really going to really put the heat on the hair and make sure that it's straight enough and really, really nice. So I'm gonna speed up this process and then I'm gonna come back to y'all when I'm almost done. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I just noticed that the fan was on. But it's okay. I just wanted to stop in and talk to y'all about these bumpy-ish roots. Well, they look bumpy to me. They may look flat to y'all. Like, I feel like right here, it just is giving me, like, bumpy vibes. And don't worry about this part. I'm going to make it even cleaner than this. I'm going to go in with this hot comb. Woo! I'm not scared and then just press the back of the comb on to the parts that's like you want it to get flatter. 
So just press it directly on the location and then drag it down some. You start to be careful. Be very careful. This is so hot. Yes. yeah this is what my hair is looking like right now i'm really liking how it's looking and just to make it even more sleek i'm just gonna put a little bit more heat on the part area now i'm gonna go in with my handy dandy foam this will just help with the little flyaways y'all see those flyaways don't you but i'm just gonna put some directly on the part and then drag it onto the other parts of the hair We're almost to the end, we're almost to the end. All you'll need is your concealer or you can also use your foundation. But whenever I tried to use my foundation like yesterday, I feel like it was looking a little bit too dark for the part area. I want it to be kind of highlighted, but not too far from like my skin color, if that makes sense. So this is the actual concealer that I'm using. And this is the Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. I got this from Ulta, just like this. Take a little brush. This is what the brush looks like that I'm using. Dip it in there. Focus on that part. So, yeah. Okay, so don't panic if that line wasn't really straight. You can go in with a Q-tip or you can go in with the edge brush, but I'm gonna use this Q-tip just to try to clean it up as much as I can, like that, see? And then I'm still gonna use this toothbrush just to kind of fade it out so it's not too harsh of a line that you just created. So just use your edge brush right by your um, part. And, then, and I'm actually about to comb out these baby hairs. These are pretty hard from the other day. So I'm not gonna really focus too, too much on it because they still have a cute little shape. And these over here. Just push these like this way. Cause I don't wanna do a major swoop right here. I feel like it will be cute and like natural with just one, two, three, and then that one, you know. So now I'm gonna go in with this, got to be glued. This is the styling glue. And I got this from Tyson. You can also get this from Walmart. But I just put it on the back of my hand for now. And then going over those edges, creating a cute swoop. So this is the final look. I'm gonna do a quick 360 for you. But this is the final look. I hope that y'all like this video. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all want to see in the future. And until next time, bye.